Comrades, I thank you for the opportunity to speak today at a time when hundreds of thousands of working people are undertaking what will inevitably be the first battle of many against the, many, the, the most aggressive right-wing government in a generation. The outlook for millions of working people and their families across the UK is becoming more apparent by the day. Higher taxes, longer working hours, lower wages and less pension provision in retirement. The mantra that we are all in this together will, we go, will go down in one, as one of history's greatest cons because make no mistake comrades, the race to the bottom and the drive to, the, to further erode trade union rights is shifting through the gears. That's the burden to be carried on the backbone of our economy for the havoc caused by the greed of the few to the detriment of the many. And while the squeeze of working people gets truly underway, the perpetrators get off scot-free, courtesy of their condemned acolytes. It's important to know our enemies, comrades. Day after day, hour after hour, downright lies have been spun by the puppet politicians and their mass media la uh, lackeys. They know they cannot afford to lose this battle in order to sustain a 30-year neoliberal agenda to ensure the well-being of the few and not of the many. The establishment line pit, uh, pits and public sector, the establishment line pits public sector against private sector, workers versus workers, and it's a classic ta tactic of divide and conquer. And we are vulnerable. We are we, we are fighting a well-oiled right-wing machine with all the apparatus of the state and the capital propping them up. Tory ministers are trotted out at every opportunity to spin the line and you have all heard this many times. Private sector workers are paying for the, the public sector gold-plated pensions. Teachers are abandoning parents and pupils. Pay freezes and pay cuts are essential medicine for the bloated public services. Comrades, what the hell did they think they take us for? There is nothing gold-plated about a pension scheme that will give you only £6,000 a year in your retirement. Teachers aren't abandoning kids or parents. They are fighting for dignity in the work and a quality of life in retirement so the very kids they are teaching aren't left high and dry and left to retire in abject poverty. <laughs> Workers earning below and around the national average wage don't need a freeze or a pay cut. They need a pay increase to support their families and households against the, the rising cost of living while maintaining the services that keep um, our society moving. All the while, comrades, executive pay goes unchecked and the bonuses keep flowing. The wealthiest individuals and corporations all show their dealings to judge their taxes. And at the same time, your pensions, your terms and conditions, your hard-earned pensions entitlements have been driven to the depth by a government full of millionaires who have no idea what life is like for working people and their families in the UK. <laughs> Comrades, today represents the opening shots in what will be a prolonged and painful battle against a government that wants to consign people like us to the floor erode your pay and pensions and take away our trade union rights. We cannot let this happen. Let's learn the lessons of the not too distant past where Thatcherism and neoliberalism plotted and plundered to, to, to decimate the social fabric of our country. Solidarity is the key, local, national and international. An indignant class is increasing by the day shifting through the gears of resistance to reject austerity and, and de demonstrate that there is indeed a better way. We all have to play our part to be activists for the dignity in our communities, in our workplaces and for social justice. We all have to be organised and carry the burden. Victory can only come from the grassroots, from collectivism in our villages, towns and cities. It can rise and reach out across countries and continents if we want it to. Nor can we hope or rely on any politician or celebrity endorsement. It's ourselves alone and nothing else. Finally, comrades, 
Unite supports each and every one of you and all striking men and women up and down the country on this day of action. You have our solidarity and in, in, and in this opening act, let's begin to show this government and corporate establishment that we are in this for the long haul and will not be broken. Thank you, colleagues.